three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Hey everybody, and welcome back to Mission Control for another feature focus video. In this video, we're going to talk about workspace windows. You can configure different workspaces, which store the layout, various windows displayed on the console screen or screens. This allows you to quickly recall different setup. Workspaces are stored and recalled from the touch buttons to the left of the menu buttons, or down the side of the screen or on the Sapphire Touch, Titan Go, and on external screens. You can also store workspaces to any executor button on the console. As of version 14, you can double press the open slash view key to show the window select buttons. To delete a workspace, I'll press open view, then delete to delete it. Here I've got a Titan Go interface using version 14. So we can either press open workspace window and we're now presented with a new layout screen. Uh, so we can select different uh, windows as we want. Say if we wanted to open up time code uh, four, for instance, we click on it and it would open up for us. Or we could double press view slash open, view on some consoles, open on others, some it's open slash view. I'll press it twice and we can see that we can select any of our other windows. Like we can select oh, our synergy fixtures window or uh, our capture window. Workspace shortcuts are now available on external screens. This allows you to have workspaces for specific screens. These can be turned off in user settings under display. You can also be toggled on or off in the system menu under display setup. So let's take a look at some of that real quick. So here I've got our Titan GUI interface with a secondary screen connected. So if we go into the system menu and display setup, we go ahead and turn on our external screen instead of connected instead of disconnected. And we'll see we've got external screen workspace shortcuts enabled or disabled. If we have them disabled, we see that they down the screen here there are no shortcuts. If we have it enabled, we see that now we have shortcuts cuts on this screen. I think it's also new for 14 is if we double press our view key again, we can now select windows on this screen and they will open up here directly instead of on the other screen where they were last recalled before. But if we were to open up on our main screen, we see the switch from that screen to the other of we selected and it was already open. When saving and loading workspaces, it is often useful to be able to set how existing windows will behave if you load more windows and to be able to target particular windows to a certain screen on the console. Record visible slash all windows sets whether you whether the workspace will contain only the windows which are currently visible or will include windows which are hidden underneath other windows is only available in the open view record a workspace method. So let's take a look at that. So here we're back on our screen. So if we were to open up a window such as our time code three, and we'll set it to be right here. Now, if I was to bring our time code window one forward and I was to do view, record workspace, have it set to record all windows, if I record it here, and then uh, we can see that it's still back there. We do it with time code one, and if we do a second one, where we do view, record workspace, and do only visible windows, and record this one here. Now, if I close all my windows, When I select this one, we can see that time code three is still behind it. But if we shut all of our windows again, and we select this one, we see that it doesn't save the non-visible window. Remove slash leave other windows on recall. Sets whether all windows will be closed when this workspace is recalled. If set to remove, the workspace button will show an X in the corner. So let's take a look at that. So we'll go ahead and see here, we've got our fixtures windows open. And if we go ahead and record a workspace, and we'll have it with remove other windows on first, and we'll have it do all of our screens, and we'll select it here, because it has a little X in the corner. Now we'll do a second one, and we'll change our option to leave other windows on recall. And again, all screens. See, it does not have the X. So on this one, if I click this one, we can see it has, it has the workspaces, but if I was to open up a window over here, we'll do video multi-view. If I click this one, we can see it removes it uh, from there, but if I open that up again, when I click this one, 
it leaves other windows there rather than removes them. The next option we have is recall as recorded slash where selected. This only appears if the screens option is set to record only a single screen. It sets whether the workspace will recall onto the screen where it is recorded. The button shows S plus the screen number, or if it will recall onto the screen where it is selected, the button shows a target symbol. So let's take a look at that. Here I've got some windows open, so if I was to go ahead and do uh, record the workspace, and we'll have it set to recall as recorded. It's fine there. And we'll do another one over here. And we'll do that one recall where selected. So now if I obviously if I click this one, it's going to open up these windows on screen ones because it says S1. If I was to move it to our external screen, it will still open our windows on screen one. This one we have recall where selected. If we were to move it, it will open those windows on that screen. If we were to move it back, see that it opens up on this screen. And we tell us to do that by the little target symbol here on the workspace. Our last option is screen sets where the workspace layout will record all the screens or individual screens. You can select or deselect each screen. No filter means all, record all screens. X one will record for that screen, main, secondary, etc. So let's take a real quick look at that. So we see here, if we go ahead and if we were to tap an empty workspace, we can see that we have a screens key. We can select it to be either all wind, all screens, so it would be our secondary screen and our main screen, or just our main screen, or just our secondary screen, or no filter, it'll do all. If we had more than two screens, uh, say we on a sapphire, we had four, we could select, you know, the first three, or just the last two, or whatever we wanted, uh, specifically for our filter. And that's Workspace Windows, and the new features for version 14. I hope you learned something. Please subscribe, and join us next time. Thanks, bye. We'll stop. Roger, we'll stop, Discovery. Welcome back. A great ending to the new beginning.